Hey, three, two, one. This is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show, and I've got somebody on that took some work getting her on here, but we made it happen. Her name is Kim Giles. Are you there? I'm here, Magic Brad. So excited to be on the yeah. show. It's fun. I, I, now that Zoom has become mainstream, pretty much, it's, uh, it's easier to get people online because they go, what's Zoom? Well, now they know. Everybody knows. Yeah, Zoom. everybody's doing it. Even the newscasters and politicians are doing it. Yeah. Wish so, I'd invested in Zoom before the COVID started. <laughs> well, what goes up must come down. So you never know. Never know. <laughs> I'm invested in real estate. Well, that's a good place to have your money. It's secure because even it's secure. though there's, there's a little dip, I think we've been in real estate ever since we moved out of the cave. When it rained, we went back in the cave. So you got to have shelter over your head. Yeah, that's stable. a good one. <laughs> so where are you residing, speaking of a place to live? What part of the world? I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, that's a nice place. I'm, so there's a place I drove down to California. There's a place, and you'll be familiar with it, where there's not a gas station for a long, 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 long time. Yeah, Never. we have some amazing wilderness areas in Utah. <laughs> but that's the best part. A lot of beautiful places to see. And yep, all those yep, big I, red rocks and yeah. walls and stuff. How long have you been out there? Uh, most of my life. Okay, deep roots. So uh, I won't tell you how many years that is, but it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when the Grand Canyon was just a little thin? No, I'm just kidding. It's not quite that long, but a long time. <laughs> I remember seeing a Flintstones episode, you know, the cartoon, and they were going to the Grand Canyon, and they were looking down on it. Oh, my God, that's amazing. And then it's just a little stream by their feet. Back in those days. Back that's in the funny. days of Stone Age, sure. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? So you're married and have kids and all that kind of stuff? No, I'm single. I do have kids. I have four. Four? I, uh, I have four, but they're mostly grown up. So I'm kind of having okay. that empty nest time when I have freedom to travel and do things. And Is that a good thing? It's a fun time of life. Is that good or you feel sad? No, I feel really good. Yeah, because they're old enough yeah. to do their own deal and you raise them well and they're out doing stuff and then when you get older they can take care of you <laughs> hopefully why not you took care of them for yeah. 20 30 years right seriously <laughs> i sure did yes so let's get right into it because i try and keep these kind of condensed so people can kind of get to know who you are and what you do and if they want to know more they can click on the link and find you so you are yeah. a coach and you know there's lots of different kind of coaches there's business coaches life coaches relationship coaches spiritual coaches. What kind of coach are you? Well, um, I have a program that's kind of unique and it's called the 12 shapes. So it looks like a personality test. You can go to our website, 12 shapes.com and take this quiz and it'll tell you which of the 12 is you, but it's actually not based on personality at all. It is a brand new people science. Unlike anything you've seen before, that's more based on behavior and the way that you're wired psychologically. And so it's really super accurate and it tells you things about yourself that'll blow you away. That sounds that's really cool because a person can kind of fake their personality, but their actions and behaviors, you can't really fake that because it's out. Yeah, it's, cool. it's super ac accurate. But what's really fascinating is the way it teaches you how to relate to other people. So when you take the quiz, you can send an invite to all your friends and family. And when they take it, they'll, they will show up on your list. And you can learn about their shapes and the, the website will tell you the secret to getting along with the two of you. If you're an octagon and I'm an arrow, which I kind of think after watching your videos that you're an octagon. <laughs> but... We'd be able to read about the octagon arrow relationship and do's and don'ts and, and what's the quick, easy hack to make a relationship between you and me, you know, work. And, and this is helpful not only with your personal relationships, but people at work and your relatives, anybody that you have a hard time getting along with, you, you can get all the secrets to making it work. 
Yeah, that stuff is really powerful, I know, because there was a thing that my wife and I went through, and it was real interesting to see what another person's thinking style is, because they say that when you're doing things, you're supposed to be listening, listening to what the person's saying, and sometimes people aren't listening, they're taking it in and thinking about how they're going to respond to what they're hearing, and they're not really listening to what's going on. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example. I was, uh, when I first met my wife before we were married. I was driving down the freeway. I was talking on the phone and I just said something like, well, if you can tolerate me. And to me, that was just a joke. But to her, it was like, okay, what is it that I need to tolerate about this guy? So the communication wow. was like, whoa, that was, so right away there was something weird that went on and we hung up and I just felt weird about it. So I had to call her back up and kind of clarify that, whatever the heck, because there was something that wasn't going right. So what you're kind of saying is, if these shapes are in alignment and an octagon gets along with an arrow, or if they don't, you can well, find out why they don't. And then yeah, and, and actually, you can make any relationship work. Yeah. Um, there are some shapes you might be a little more compatible with, but but the magic is that we all expect other people to be wired the way we are. Right. We're like, why can't you just handle life the way I do? It's easy. What's the matter with you? <laughs> but the truth is we are wired very different. Yes. And when you understand how another person is wired, you get them, you stop expecting them to be like you and you allow them room to be who they are. Totally. And you, the, the shapes tell you two really important things. One is their core value system mm -hmm. and their value system drives most of their decisions. And then the second thing it tells you is their core fear trigger. And this is the fear that brings out all their bad behavior. So you want to know the people that you're the closest to what their fear trigger is so that you can avoid it and you can recognize when it's been triggered and they're now kind of out of balance and behaving badly. You'll know exactly what's going on and you'll Very know cool. exactly what they need. So the 12 shapes just makes relationships easier simpler like it's just easy to understand i totally get it my wife and i we get along really 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 well and i think it's because i'm very it, everything just is fine but sometimes there's these little situations like the way that she cooks when she takes something I, when i take something i put it back where, where it was because when i go to find it again i know where it is with hers yeah. it's all over the place and <laughs> so i can we, we joke about that like a, like why is the sugar bowl in the refrigerator Oh, I don't know. Funny. I just, so it's okay. And all of a sudden you just find stuff in weird spots and everything. And I remember like when you understand that that's the situation, you're talking about like certain triggers that a person has. I'm sitting there washing dishes and I got a little issue because this isn't where it was supposed to be. And I'll sudden start getting a little bit upset thinking, I wish you'd put stuff back. And then I realized, you know what? She hasn't touched this. It was me that didn't put it back. Aha. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, because if do I you, would just, if I was just like, triggered on that, I would have, like, how come you don't put stuff back? Because I was in that emotional situation. But I just chilled yeah. and realized. What was it? Well, I, I think that you're probably an octagon, and, and, and octagons are very observant, too. So they really notice when things aren't the way they should be. Um, I have a, a client who's an octagon who said that um, people are always uh, complaining that he's too observant because he just notices what isn't the way it should be. And his desire to make everything its best, he'll bring it up, right? But we've got some of us, um, like arrows like me, who are fear of failure dominant. And what that means is anything you say isn't right, I assume that it's about me not being good enough and, <laughs> and tend to take that personally. And it's funny how often we marry somebody with the opposite core fear as us. Sure. So that this is kind of what gets triggered. What bothers me triggers your fear of failure. And that's and for a reason. It's for a reason. But as soon as you know that that's what goes on with this person you care about, you can then avoid it. Correct. And or you or leverage it to be, um, you know, because the, the her putting stuff in different places is fun now. <laughs> it, it's a, it's a thing for us because I get to put it back, you know. 
So it's like, yeah, and do you laugh and, and have fun with it when you find it instead of letting it bother you? Exactly. That's what makes <laughs> it different. And I think your stuff is right on as far as me being an octagon because I've got a martial arts background and the magical entertainment. So with the martial yeah. arts, it's about being aware of your surroundings, whether it's peripheral vision or whatever, or just sensing things. And then same with the magic, you know, you got to know if someone's kind of behind you or whatever. So there's, there's a, definitely that yeah, observing. Very, and when and I go to really, an event, I like to wa look at stuff, not necessarily the stage, the performers. I like to look at the lighting and the rigging and the, the props and how people are reacting. I'm more observing. So you're, I'm an octagon. Yeah. <laughs> and, and are you very intuitive too? Well, that's an interesting on... question in that uh, people say that I am, but to me, I don't think so. And that's because I am, and I just expect that it's just normal. So I think so. Yeah. I, I have situations that happen a lot. Like it happened this morning. I was listening to a video and typing at the same time, working on something else. And I hear the word as I'm typing it. So it's, it, there's very really cool coincidental things that happen in my life. I have a lot of that kind of stuff. And I'm just wow. observe it. Yeah. Yeah. So Octagons really have a cool. have a kind of spiritual connection with the universe too, that's a little bit different than any other shape. And think about an octagon and how many sides it has. Mm -hmm. And you're a guy with a lot, lot of sides. Yes, I have a lot of <laughs> multifaceted. <laughs> right? <So laughs> it's it really a blessing and a curse. I've got a lot of things that I'm kind of good at. I'm not really good at a lot of things, but I'm pretty good at a lot of different things. Yeah. Well, the cool thing that you discover with the 12 shapes is all of us are, are, are kind of quirky. We have our weird edges or corners and, and stuff, but the world needs every one of us. We, we've got to just celebrate those differences and let everybody be the unique person they are. And the world's a better place with all of us. I think that everybody around right now, the protesters and the non-protesters should take your thing and get in alignment. <laughs> yeah, we should come together. We should stop dividing, that's for sure, because the things so. that unite us are bigger than what divides us. Absolutely. Some people are squares. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> so so the, I'm, I'm kind of detecting then when I ask the question, what kind of coach are you? It sounds like you're kind of a lifestyle coach, being able to use this. Although this program could easily fit into relationships or business or yeah we use it finances. on so many yeah so many different verticals um and and mostly nowadays i actually train and certify people that want to be coaches and use the programs that i've developed cool. so i'm kind of a train the coach coaches so that's lots of fun um but but yeah the 12 shapes is so fun in a business when you get to find out what all your coworkers are and it's really really helpful for people that are struggling at home with their relationships is your uh system is it something that you could kind of i don't know if the term is white label it but that if you trained a coach they can now use that system for them for themselves sort of making it look like it's kind of their system or yeah just to, to some degree it's it's customizable you can swap out the logos and and stuff on it and then, um, then the mechanics and the detail yeah stuff works yeah so very that's very neat i like that yeah and we have a great coach training program we were anybody that's interested in being a coach we really help you learn how to build a business and market yourself so you know not just teaching you what to coach and how to coach it and giving you a time-tested program but we really support you long term and being a successful coach. That's interesting. It's, I think it's good to have these tools to do things, you know, the, that assessment kind of thing, because people dig that kind of stuff if they can just kind of go in and start putting in data and then finding out, oh, cool, I'm an octagon. Yeah, they and really they do. Coach. They love getting <laughs> insights about themselves. And, and it, it's, it's a great thing to know about yourself because you can be so much more accountable for your bad behavior when you understand what your trigger is mm -hmm. and i lose it when people criticize me or make me feel like i'm not good enough that's mine you're more fear of loss dominant so it would fear be what? feeling mistreated or taken from fear of what uh fear of loss as an octagon, now fear of loss, ha loss happens anytime you feel taken from, mistreated, 
uh, or done wrong in some way. Like, mm -hmm. this is not the way it should have been, um, is more likely to be a trigger for you. And knowing that, I can tell when I start to get hot under the collar or, or upset by something, okay, I'm having a, that fear issue again. And I can then know easily how to, how to deal with it and eliminate the fear and get balanced again. And by studying all this, you said there's 12 shapes. Mm -hmm. So then you know how to react to the other 11. And you can kind of sense that when you're at a networking event or a family reunion or something like that. And somebody starts talking about, you know, Marge, when she divorced Steve, that just wasn't. And you can kind of go, that's okay. She's having yeah. a trigger. She's being triggered. <laughs> well, and, and so I know she's a square and squares complain a lot. And, and then, so instead of being bothered with it, I can just laugh and go, oh, that's just how squares are wired. Right. They just complain a lot and bless her heart. That's, that's, she can't help it. That is how she's wired. So it actually gives you a lot more compassion for other people. Sure. That, that's a very uh, good point that understanding that different people are wired different ways and uh, there's no point in trying to change them to fit into your little box or whatever, or your shape. You know? Yeah, they're never gonna be the same shape as you do. So you gotta stop trying to change them and love them as they are, because this is who they are. So you got all those different little shapes. You should get a bunch of things that are like a bunch of holes and a bunch of pegs and you could match them all up. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I had a client the other day say, I, I really don't like those things because they really label me. And I don't like being kind of put in a box like that. What shape were they? Um, they were actually a rectangle and all rectangles feel that way about the quay. <laughs> None of them like it. They don't like the whole idea. Um, which is funny because I knew exactly he was a rectangle as soon as he did that. But the thing is, it's not as much labeling you as it is understanding yourself. And anything that gives you some insight to understand, you know, why you behave the way you do and, and what, why you feel the emotions that you feel all the time, it gives you such great insight into yourself and it heightens your ability to love yourself as you are. Can, can people just, shift from one shape to another? They can if there's a trauma. I, I've seen many that I mean, I mean some intentionally. Really trauma. I mean intentionally. Could you take like a, a, a square and say chop off the corners and now you're an octagon? Um, no, you'll still be a square. Now you're wired. It seems to be like only a really severe trauma that just throws somebody and they just it, it changes them. And, and so we do see that on occasion, but you're just wired the way you're wired. I wonder and how the, Sybil is wired. Is that your wife? I wonder how, no. Sybil, you ever heard of Sybil? Got no. multiple personalities? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll bet they, each personality actually has a shape. Yeah, you um, look up Sybil, she probably got all of them. Yeah, she probably does. <laughs> But you definitely should have your wife go take the 12 shapes quiz and find out what she is. I will tell it's, her about this because she really digs this kind of stuff. Um, there's a local person here that had a thing. She was called the, the passion something. And it was a test like that. Yeah. Answer all these yeah. questions and what, what the icon you fit into. And it's kind of like the disc profile or there's one of the, the colors. But this sounds much more elaborate. And, and there are is. multiple those, those personalities. Are really personality based and this one is not personality based it's behavior based so it's just a little bit different science that's what i think is very very cool because like i said you know you can change your personality if you're a good actor but you yeah. can't change, you can't change what you your do. Wiring. once once you did it you did it <laughs> well, how, yeah. how you behave yes. <laughs> so behave well, tell us how we can get a hold of it. What's your website and how, how, can, oh, super how can we easy. take the test? 12shapes.com. And not the word 12, but 12shapes.com. So That's super easy. easy. Yep. You can take the quiz. You can learn about all the shapes. There's little videos that, that you can watch that tell you about them all. Um, I also have two podcasts that just talk about the shapes. And they're kind of a riot. I'll do um, television shows like The Office 
or friends and I'll explain what shape all the characters are and um, it, it's kind of fun. It helps you start to be able to recognize them in other people in your life. And all of that is available on 12shapes.com. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, because you know, you know how I got shapes. I got different sides to myself. I just have an idea. So who knows, maybe down the road, if you want to do some more of these, maybe we start January and we do one shape per month and do a series. That might be kind of fun. I, I, I would be open to that. Yeah, I love so talking about the shapes. Any time, any place. Ponder that. That's what I like doing because a lot of people, when they do these interviews with me, they think that one's going to be the secret and ta-da, now where's all this stuff happening? Nothing works that way. It starts no. and it, it's a relationship. It's a perpetual kind of keeping on going kind of thing. That's why I do multiple. I got three of these today and I do my morning thing and I, I do all sorts of videos. I'm constantly out there putting stuff out there. That's what makes it work. You see the people like it. it don't. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, I'll come back anytime. What was that? I'll come back anytime that you want to have me back on the show. Well, let's uh, have a, another conversation and figure out some kind of strategy because maybe it might be like a shape shifting Saturday or something. Do a hey. Serious thing. Do that the third Saturday of every month or. You know, yeah. To figure it well, out. thanks for having me today. This Absolutely, been I appreciate it, Ms. Giles. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, we've got Kim Giles on here. Remember that twelve shapes dot com. You can't remember that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 12 <laughs> shapes dot com. Perfect. Thank you, Kim. Appreciate it. Thanks, Magic Brad. Bye bye. <laughs>